What's going on everyone? This is Clayton Youngberg coming at you from your number one source for all things Android, AndroidAuthority.com. Now today we've got a review and it's all about the media for the Sony Xperia Ion. Uh, we've already done our in-depth reviews, so you guys can check that out, but today we're going to be focusing on the media aspect that Sony has preloaded into this awesome phone. Now as a lot of you may know if you've watched the review, this is packing a 4.6 inch 720p HD reality display and then it has this software layer called the Mobile uh, Bravia engine. And uh, shining through at 1280 by 720 pixels, this is a really great phone. It has 342 PPI, so there's a lot of great uh, media to be unlocked. Now, Sony has preloaded this device with the Video Unlimited and Music Unlimited service, so we're going to be demoing those. I've got a free 60-day um, subscription to that, so I got all the media I want. If you guys want any requests, go ahead and drop us a line. I'm uh, free to do that. Anyways, we're also going to be doing a camera test with the 12 megapixel uh, camera on the back in 1080p HD. We'll go ahead and just include that in this video. So without further ado, let's check out uh, first the Music Unlimited service by Sony. Now, uh, Samsung has also developed something like this, and uh, cloud music servers are really catching on these days. So anyways, uh, right here, this is the very front panel of the Sony um Music Unlimited service. You're going to have to make an account online, and it's easy. You just put your email address, make a password, and then you can add funds to your wallets to download songs, and uh, likewise for the video service to download videos. So, anyways, this is your main UI. You've got your channels where there's premium genres, the Sense Me, the Era. We have recent in my channels. We have some chart toppers for the what's new and some new releases. We scroll right, and we have uh, the My Library where we have artists, albums, songs, playlists. All sorts of good stuff. Uh, we have our options such as refresh. We can check out our settings and then we can switch to offline mode which allows us to not only stream music from Sony's cloud servers but also keep the music and listen to them offline. So before we get into anything else we can check out our settings. We have the account information, the account management, then we can remove the account and we can uh, enable explicit controls to censor songs and stuff like that. And as well as uh, here's where you'll uh, control your offline music and remove the offline music. So let's just go ahead and search for a song. I'm going to go ahead and search for Primus. We'll see if they have that. Um, I'm connected to the 4G network on AT&T and uh, also my Wi-Fi. So my Wi-Fi is pretty fast. We'll be using that. And they had Primus. We'll go ahead and check that out. Um, we'll go ahead and go into one of their albums. I'm actually going to go to the very first one here. And we'll get My Name is Mud. We can click and we can instantly stream this song. Um, it will begin playing. And we can control our medium volume uh, just like that. And we can make available offline simply by uh, pressing the menu and switch to offline mode. Our drop down menu here brings up the rest of the tracks on the album and we can search or we can add to the queue. our uh, related artists panel here where we have the discography and we can have more like the album here and uh, the bio of the band so anyways uh, that's pretty awesome we'll go back into the main pane right here um, we can download all these songs we can purchase them with our account and our wallet that's synced up with our music unlimited service uh, we also have the albums artist songs um, just all of the great stuff that is packed into a nice cloud based media server so anyways, we'll go back and uh, have a quick look at the Video Unlimited, which is really awesome. It's basically the same thing, but it is for media in the form of videos and uh, TV shows, movies, uh, series, anything like that. Um, I went ahead and downloaded something already. Uh, we'll just let this load up. This has to sign into the same exact account that um, you create for the entire Sony, Sony Media um, experience. Now you can download the files of the movies or the uh, TV shows that you like straight to your phone and then once it's on your phone you can actually transfer them to other media devices. So I recently downloaded uh, my favorite show of all time. It's always sunny in Philadelphia. They had that. They have just about everything you're looking for and uh, once you download it you can stream it here. Get in landscape mode. It takes just a second to boot up. And we'll just turn that down. As you can see, our Bravi engine's working really nice to bring this in HD quality. Um, just looks really nice. Our reality display is shining through with all these great bright colors and stuff like that. We can stream all this great media. We'll go ahead and go back 
Anyways, our video unlimited service has a basic uh, UI as uh, the same as the uh, music service does. We have our new releases, uh, including movies, movies for rent, and then ep episodes of uh, recent TV shows. We have all the regular TV shows here. We've got movies, and then we have collections and sales. Uh, we have top TV episodes. There's a bunch of great stuff. We can scroll through all these like that. When we click more, we can just basically uh, scroll in a different UI like that. Our menu brings up the settings, the media library, and the account. Under the media library, we have just everything that we've downloaded ourselves. Now I downloaded the episode here of It's Always Sunny. It was only 272 meg, so it doesn't take long to download. And the good thing is is that uh, I noticed once I had downloaded it, just um, one meg of it, I was able to actually stream it. So you're able to stream it at the same time it's downloading, and that makes for a really awesome media experience. So that was the uh, Music Unlimited and the um, Movie Unlimited by Sony. Uh, video unlimited that is and I hope you guys like that go ahead and check it out you can sign up for a subscription um if you've got an Xperia device or a Sony device I would recommend it it's great it's it's almost integral to the uh, functionality of this device um, well not necessarily but if you do want a great media experience now anyways this is packing the 12 megapixel camera to help you capture videos in a great lifelike uh, features just like the ones we saw. So we're going to go ahead and check out a camera test I took, just a small video in 1080p HD um, that I recorded using the Sony Xperia Ion. Okay, so as you see here, I'm just basically panning over my uh, computer keyboard using the Sony Xperia Ion. Um, I have the autofocus set to the single autofocus. There's also infinity and there's continuous autofocus, but the infinity is a little tough to use. I enjoy the single autofocus. It's what I've gotten the best results out of. It's still kind of hard to actually get um, it focused. It took me just about a minute or two to get the uh, camera focused on the keyboard in this fashion. But uh, we'll just pan around. You can see it has great detail, a uh, rich display. I'm actually um, watching this video. Uh, when I watch this, I mean on the Sony Xperia Ion, it just looked awesome. Um, so as you can see here, it does take just a second to get in focus, but now we're focused. You can see all the rich detail of the remote control <laughs> and we can just pan and it does take awesome quality video. I really like the, the quality of the 12 megapixel 1080p HD camera on the Sony Xperia Ion. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Check out the Sony Xperia Ion and remember to stay tuned with AndroidAuthority.com. We always appreciate your guys' views and support. Uh, we're dedicated to bringing you the best content for Android. Uh, so uh, take it easy, guys. This is Clayton with Android Authority.